G'day guys and welcome back and today as you'll see we have another chainsaw project. This is a McCulloch Super 250 um, and it is one hell of a lump of a saw. Um, obviously not as big as I think it was the 500s and the I think they had something around a thousand too. Um, but I am not too sure. Tell me in the comments um, what it was. But anyway, we're going to try and get this thing running today. I don't know anything about it, why it's, why it's um, not being used anymore, if it's just sat or what the reason is there. Uh, I'm obviously going to have to chuck some penetrating oil and stuff on this bar and chain to try and free them up because they are pretty well seized in place. But hopefully we can dress that and bring that from the dead. Uh, I am going to uh, chuck some penetrating oil too on this pull start. Although it does work and retract, it's a little bit tighter than I'd like. Um, there's probably just some rust or some dirt or something in there, which is not too much of an issue. Then, I'll, as always, I'll take this uh, air filter cover off, which is a huge lump of a thing. Take it off, put some fuel down its throat, and uh, see if it will fire. If it fires, then we'll go from there. So, let's get into that.
So it has obviously been quite some time since I did those first McCulloch uh, 250, the Super 250, and I think I got the 710 Auto, my first of those style saws um, in that bunch. But we finished up on that 250. Um, I didn't film an outro, I think, or either that or I lost it. I don't know if I filmed them for the um, Super 250 and the 710, so I might be using this same one for them um, but as you saw with the 250 we got it up and running really nicely it it purred along and um, seemed to run fair, fairly well um, cleaned up pretty well and I was pretty happy with it it's gone now I've sold it off as you'll see there's heaps of stuff here um, that is coming up so as always thank you guys for watching and i will see you next time <laughs>